Hi there, so I've been playing a bit with the end stops and I want to make a video on this one. So I I have a whole sensor here. Let me focus on it a bit. Come on. Yeah, this is so the 44E. Uh, this is the signal line this is the plus i'm using plus 3.3 volts and the uh, ground the last one and i'm using this magnet see it's a pill magnet uh, i didn't bought this one i i already had them i'm not sure exactly from where but you can also buy them and I'm so for the X I'm using this one the whole sensor one for the Y I'm using the normal one like this like uh, most used ones um, why did I change these ones because I was using software end stops with the 2209s with the diag diagnostic pin but the problem was um, every time I change the tension in the belts they do not uh, it will just when I try to home this it will just do like this they, they, they can never never go all the way I used to have this put here in the end and you can see the roller used to bang it here where it's a bit in the deep but the problem was uh, as soon as I tighten the screw here or here this kind of tend to get loose from time to time you when you change the tension in the belts it doesn't home precisely and I just got bored of this so I just adjusting and it's a mess I was uh, I was excited in the beginning when I saw when I find out about this because I thought I would have to use more extra wires like I'm having one wire here one here this one it's needs to be arranged more but uh, it's such a such a headache I had with uh, just adjusting this and I just got I got done with it and I just put this so between this and this if I would just choose what to use I think these ones in my opinion are better because these ones for one this one is smaller so it's easier to put it you see I just mount it on a piece of cardboard I just cut it with a cutter in shape so it's more <laughs> less space here and I just uh, fixed it with zip tie and it works perfect. I will, I will show you in just a second. This one on the other hand is a bit, it just moves a bit because it's a bit harder to to fix here because it's bigger. I think I'm just gonna use another one here as well because I already have this magnet here and I, I already tested the whole sensor here and works quite well. I just had an issue but I will fix it, I will show you. Okay, so one another update I did, I because now my printer it's I can just lift it. The only connection it has it's with the wire. So before I was unplugging this, I was pulling this out from here and it was not so nice. So now I just I cut this wire in two and put this. So now I just remove this and I can just lift the printer and take it away. Okay, so let's plug this back. Let me show you how I start my printer usually. So first step, you just you energize, so we have power. This is because the steppers need the V motor power first. Otherwise, it, the registers not work. Next, I take my USB cable. I'm using this meter as well just to keep an eye if something starts to draw power 
Okay, so now I restart firmware. Okay, and now I'm gonna home manually the axis. Let's start with the X. So I'm pressing it now. See? One uh, small issue I have with this is, for example, I'm gonna put it like one, one millimeter. See, it moved and uh, it didn't uh, stop the light. I'm gonna move another millimeter and now it stops. And now I'm going minus back one, nothing happens, and another one. Oh, something happened here, so I'm having 099. Let's just home it again. So now I'm going one, six is one, the light is still on. Going one more, now it's two, just stop. So I'm going minus one. Two. So you see if I'm moving it like one millimeter, it doesn't uh, stop the, it still sees it as triggered. For example, see I, I moved it one millimeter, I go here to the machine and I check and stop states. It says X is triggered, but it's, it shouldn't be. Because I already moved it one millimeter, but it's not an issue. I, I haven't found no problems. For example, it's triggered, but if I go minus one, it will just move back. And if I try to go minus one, only now it will say say out of range, but it works pretty well. Anyway, this is this was the only issue I had with uh, these whole sensors. That's why I. I I I was reluctant to use it here, but I just got forced now because <laughs> I couldn't fit the, this big one here. So I was stuck with this one and I'm pretty happy now I'm gonna put it here as well. Let me show you this one. So I'm gonna home the Y X. See if I move one millimeter with this one. It, it's it's untriggered back so this one moves very precise compared with the whole sensor which has one millimeter error I don't think it's gonna be an issue but I will let you know if if I encounter any problems <coughs> Okay, this is what I wanted to say about end stops.